Welcome to our service today. Uh, this is Reverend Idika Abu Imeri um, from the Presbyterian Church of Nigeria. Also the, the, the Bishop Apostolic Director or Administrator for the Idika Imeri's Ministries. Um, our ministries reaches out to the entire world. Um, we are called to take the Gospels to the nations. And I welcome you to this uh, service for Father's Day 2012. And I say that Jesus Christ, who is King, bless you as you participate in our service today. And as it goes, we cut this broadcast down um, to adjust the, 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 the teaching or the sermon or the homily, whatever you want to call it, and um, I pray that as you listen carefully, especially for those of you who are fathers, especially those of you who are fathers and moms and leaders of household and groups, it is very, very, um, it is very, very vital that you listen to uh, to what God is saying in our day. Uh, let me explain a little bit to those of you who, for the first time, you are keying into our service. Celebration today is how we celebrate the various things that has happened in biblical history, the, the, various, the various things also that we do in ministry. We bring it to you in celebration today. We also have other shows that we broadcast around the world, like... Um, experience with God and um, expect good things with God, which is our main um, broadcast that we do broadcast. I am a leader of leaders. God called me to and chose me to train leaders to build. He said to me very, he said to me, and I am going to say exactly the way he put it. He said, some build cars, some build roads, some build computers, but I call you to build me human beings. So this is very, very important to me, training leaders. And as the leader of leaders, I, we have something that the Holy Spirit gave to us to use in the training of leaders through the mass media and um, through our broadcasts. And we call it Power Talk. In Power Talk, we, 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 bring, we bring the training to leaders. So whenever you key in and you see uh, or you turn your television on, or you go to the internet and so on, and you see ADK Mary's Ministries present Power Talk, you know that is for leaders, and for those of you who aspire to be leaders. Hallelujah. Today we read from Genesis chapter 1, from verse 1 to 2, and I want to concentrate on verse number 2. Genesis chapter 1, verse 1 and 2. In Genesis chapter 1, verse 1 and 2, we, we read about how God made the first um the first time god made the earth and later on in verse 2 it speaks about the chaos the vacancy the emptiness the void the formlessness the, the earth did not have any more form there was no meaning nothing was going on here and that has to do with the fact that god destroyed there was a deluge god destroyed the world as of that time god is very much involved in letting go what doesn't benefit him, what is out of hand, then starting something new. And that is how God operates. For those of us who think that we can, we can do whatever we like and the foundation will still be there later, we are simply telling a lie to ourselves. Because God specializes in starting something new and things that will stand, something that will last. God is looking for someone, looking for people, looking for a nation that he can use to do things that will stand the test of time and that will, that will, that will bring blessing to eternity. So here in verse 2 of Genesis 1, we, we see that the spirit of Aleim, we say Elohim is Aleim. The spirit of Aleim, the spirit of God Almighty, was hovering like the hovercraft, was vibrating, was moving over the surface of the ice 
of, of, of the darkness because the eighth day was dark. There was nothing happening. In my teaching on demonology and creation, I do, I do talk in depth about what happened. We've not yet put it out there, but it's soon on its way. I'm putting that together so that you really know a whole lot about what the biblical history, what the scripture says about the first eight that was here, the very eight in which we walk in, and the redemption, the restoration, and the creation that we began to see also encapsulated in Genesis chapter 1, verse 1, verse 2, and 3, and then it goes on and on throughout uh, chapter 1, chapter 2, and, and so on and so forth. Now, where I am talking today has to do with something that is always intriguing to me, and that is this. Why is it that when God is about to do something so great, you will always see the appearance and the presence of the person of the Holy Spirit. When I began to look at the biblical histories and the biblical drama, and I began to see this thing, then I began to pay attention to the language of God, to how God does his business. I saw the Spirit of God appeared, and whenever the Spirit of God appears, something good is about to happen. This is Father's Day, and the topic that I'm sharing with you is, Come, Holy Spirit, come. Come, Holy Spirit, come. Most of our lives, our homes, the lives of men, men are called to be rulers. Women are called to be leaders. And I discovered that the life of a man in contemporary times is in a shaky foundation. The reason is because the foundation of most men, the parents of most men did not plan them on and with the oracle of God, which is scripture. Most of men in today's world were not shaped with things that is going to guide them through life. Therefore, there's so much conflict and struggles in life because of this. The only person that helped us to begin to find stability as men, to begin to find creativity as men, to regain our position as men, to become rulers in our families, in our groups, is the Holy Spirit. Most of our homes, you can say, lives of men, and the homes of men, and the families of men, you can say that, you can read what you read in the vacancy, the formlessness, the void, the darkness in our lives. And God specializes wherever there is vacancy in filling it with good things. God specializes where there is no form in putting beauty and form to it. God specializes in bringing light to where there is darkness, to where things were destroyed, to where things were stolen, you know, to where things were injured. God specializes in, in replacing, not just in repair. The Holy Spirit must come into our life as we welcome him in as men. If we are going to regain our position as men on earth, a position of dominance, a position of rulership, so that we can rule with our women who are called to be leaders, we need to welcome the Holy Spirit back into our homes, into our lives, into our jobs. So I call on you fathers, please, 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 begin to make that effort once again to begin again to listen to the Spirit of God. It is the Spirit of God that brings about form that can fill any life with good thing, that can fill any vacancy with plenty. God is waiting for us men to make that move so that the Holy Spirit of God will begin to make a move on us. Hallelujah. This day, this morning, I call on you to welcome the person of the Holy Spirit to say, Holy Spirit, 
Please show up. Please show up and change my lifestyle. Please show up and bring the presence of Jesus into my life. And you will see the difference that will begin to happen in your life. And your history will never be the same again. Hallelujah. Amen.